Hey everyone, welcome back. Today's recipe, I'm making a baked salmon with mango chutney, little ginger in there, a little heat, really nice, and we're gonna top it with a walnut crust. Gives it a nice little crunch. It's pretty easy to make, guys, and I think you're gonna love it. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after this. So to start our recipe, we need to start our chutney, right? So if you want to cheat, and hey, I'm not going to say anything, you could buy, you know, mango chutney at the store and skip this step entirely. If you want to do a really quick meal, you know, it would come together. But if you want to make it and follow along with me, this is really delicious and you're going to love it. You can use it on, you know, fish, chicken, pork would be great too. So here we go. Here's our ingredients for our chutney. We'll need some mango cut up into chunks. If you need a video on how to do that, I have one for you, by the way. Uh, I'll leave a link for it down below in the description and I'll leave a link right up in here and you can click on that and know how to cut up your own mango. You can also buy mango already cut up at the store if you wanna skip that step as well. Uh, we'll need some golden raisins, brown sugar. I have some fresh squeezed orange juice, apple cider vinegar. We have some ground cumin, garam masala, red pepper flakes, here we have a finely diced red onion, fresh ginger that I've grated on my microplane, and some fresh garlic, as well as a little bit of salt. Now that's just for the um, chutney part of our recipe. Now for our walnut crust, we're gonna be using walnuts. Now I'm using walnuts because they have a higher ratio of omega-3s to omega-6s, as, as opposed to uh, almonds, which have a really high uh, number of omega-6s compared to omega-3s. So I'm, I wanna make this as heart healthy as I possibly can today. Why counteract, you know, all the good omega-3s you're getting from the fish with a bunch of omega-6s in your crust? Not gonna do that. All right, so we'll need some fresh lemon. I'm using an organic lemon here because I'm gonna be using the zest from this lemon and some olive oil. And then we'll need some fish fillets. I'm using salmon here. I'm using coho salmon, which is wild. I like to buy wild fish as opposed to farm. Okay, we're gonna start off here by making our chutney, which is super easy. I'm gonna place about a teaspoon of oil into the pan. Let's get that a little warm. Kind of swirl it around. You know how you can tell when your oil is hot in a pan? I just wanted to share this while this is heating up. Is, you know, you, when you first put it in and you swirl it around, it's very smooth in the, in the pan, right? And when it gets hot, when it gets up to, you know, a certain temperature, 300 degrees or so, it starts to change in the pan. And hopefully I'll be able to show that to you. It striates. It's like striating the lines in the, in the oil that you'll see in the pan. Now we don't need this to be super hot, but if you were sauteing something, that's where that would come in real handy for you. Okay, I can see the, the lines just starting. That's The oil's starting to get nice and hot. So we're gonna toss in our onions. And you can hear the little sizzle, right? And I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. Now I'm gonna go back to low heat because I'm just kind of softening, softening these up a bit. Here's our ginger. I'm gonna toss that in with the onions. And I'm going to saute this like this for about a minute, and then I'm going to add the garlic, because we're only doing this for a couple, maybe three minutes. All right, it's been a couple minutes. It's time for our garlic to meet our onions and ginger and say hello. And we'll saute that for one minute more. All right, so now we're ready to add everything else to the pan. So here's the orange juice. Toss that in. Of course, we've got to get our mangoes in there, right? Let's get those in there. Here's that apple cider vinegar. Here's our brown sugar. The raisins. Come on out of there. Our spices. Can't forget those. And we're gonna put a pinch of salt in there. Now we're gonna bring this to a little boil. Nothing too crazy. And we gotta keep an eye on this, you know, fairly close. We don't certainly don't want it to burn, right? So I'm gonna turn the flame up, get up to a nice medium high and we're gonna bring this to a simmer, okay? And then we'll simmer it uncovered for about 20 minutes. And you need to stir this every couple of minutes just to make sure that nothing's, you know, sticking or getting crazy. And you can also taste it. After about 10 minutes, definitely give this a taste. See if you wanna add something else to it. If you need more spices or you want a little more, you know, sugar, you can do that. You can adjust this to how you like it or even a little more heat. So while my mango chutney is over there cooking, now we have a moment to make our walnut crust. So I've got my walnuts here. I'm gonna pour them in a food processor. Now I'm gonna add some zest from one 
lemon to the container here. And now we'll go ahead and process this, but we want to keep it sort of chunky, so just pulse it. Now I'm going to pour these into a bowl. And you can see the consistency of it. It's a nice, kind of a, just a nice size, make a nice crunch. Here we're going to add a little bit of oil to this. This is going to help keep it together when we place it on the fish, okay? Just a little bit. And then we're going to stir it up so that it kind of sticks together. All right, so our mango sauce is done. It's been cooking for 20 minutes. You can see how it's nice and, you know, getting kind of smooth. Still got a few chunks in it, which is nice. So I'm just going to turn off the heat and we'll let it cool and then we can put our fish together. All right, so we've got our chutney done. We have our walnut crust prepared and ready to go. Now all we have to do is assemble this. So what I'm gonna do now is just salt, put some little bit of salt on each piece of my salmon, and then I'm gonna place it into a baking dish. And we're going to, I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil on the bottom of the dish so that it'll hopefully won't stick. And then we'll put our pieces in there and then I will top each salmon piece with some chutney. So just cover it nicely and then we'll pour on some walnuts and push that into the chutney so that it sticks. And then we're gonna bake it in the oven at 400 degrees, preheat your oven. And we'll cook that anywhere from say 10, well maybe 12 to 15 minutes, just depending on how thick your piece of salmon is. All right, I pulled the salmon out of the oven at about 18 minutes. I went a little longer. My part of my salmon is kind of uneven, you know, part of it was like an inch and a quarter and all the way down to about less than a half an inch. So you know you just have to kind of judge it and the way you tell i just took my knife and just kind of poked in there and looked and it looked done to me so that's it now we got to do is get it off that pan and into my plate and give it a taste boy that's delicious guys that is really good I love the chutney. It's got some heat to it right at the end. You notice it and you can adjust that if you want. And it's got a little sweetness to it, of course. And I tell you, the crunch with the walnuts is just perfect. I love it. it got a little hint of, of lemon in there as well. That's our recipe for today. I hope you enjoyed my salmon dish. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you are planning to try it or if you do try it and you know, give me some feedback. Let me know how you liked it. I'd love to hear from you guys. So don't forget to do that. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, we'd love to have you. Go ahead and click the subscribe button. You'll find one at the end of the video right up here. And of course, there's always that one down below next to that bell. And if you click that bell, guess what happens? You will be notified automatically when I put out a new video. Pretty cool, right? So be sure and do that if you don't want to miss any. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks again.